and welcome to nutrition and therapy by lucy this is a channel where we talk about food good nutrition and health thank you for your support for always watching my videos liking commenting and also subscribing i am so grateful so if you are here for the first time you're watching this video for the first time please make sure you hit on that subscribe button the red button welcome to today's video today you are going to prepare a homemade pineapple ginger juice and these are our ingredients The reason why I'm cleaning them thoroughly is because we are going to use everything. After peeling the pineapple, we are going to, to boil or rather to make a syrup out of the pineapple peels. So you have to clean your, your pineapple very well. Now I think it's clean. We can peel it. Let me also clean the. This is the lemon. Though the lemon, you're not going to boil with, with the peel, you're going to extract the juice. I'll show you how you're going to do it. This is the ginger, I'm not going to use the whole of it, just going to use a piece because my pineapple is not that big. Now let's peel our pineapple. the pineapple eyes and here they look like eyes and the pineapple eyes make sure you remove them because this is the part that you're going to to blend Then you remove these hard parts, you're going to you're going to boil them together with the pineapple peels. So you to cut to cut it easily and then remove this hard part. So this one, I'm going to keep them here. This is what you're going to use to blend. You're going to blend the, the pineapple and the ginger. But the rest of the of the peels, the ones that you're going to, to make a syrup. I think I put 
understand. going to waste anything. I'm going to use everything to make our pineapple juice. And after watching this video, I'm sure you're, not, you're no longer going to buy the, the canned the canned juices. You're going to make your own homemade juice. The healthiest way of doing it. This one, our water is already is already boiling. I'm going to add the fish and bring them to boiling for about ten, fifth, about five, seven minutes. My water is about two and a half cups because my my pineapple is not that big. Then after the after the peels we have boiled, I'm going to strain them. I'm going to strain the juice and leave it to cool down. Then the, the juice is the one that I'm going to mix with the one that I have already blended. I think that's all for now. Now I'll be preparing my ginger and extract the juice from the lemon. I'm going to use just a small piece of, of the ginger and I'm not going to peel it. You're going to blend with the peel. into small pieces to ease the to ease the blending process. And now this is what you are going to blend. The pineapple and ginger only. Then the lemon, you can roll it to, to make it more juicy. So that you can produce more juice when extracting it. the juice is coming out. This is our lemon juice. Now the pineapple peels are ready. It's time to 
show the small edges. That is the pineapple, the pineapple peel juice. You are going to leave it to cool down. This is what you are going to blend. The pineapple and the ginger. Then after blending them, I'm going to strain. Then we... We mix with the pineapple peel juice. Let's blend our pineapple. Actually, you can, I know everybody now is making concussion, like you're taking lem your lemon, ginger, all those, like on a daily basis, this is a good alternative for that, because you're going to add even the lemon, you're going to add the lemon, we have the ginger itself, so it's a good alternative for the concussion. Yeah, that's why we're going to use the Kamadawa Maratatu Kwasiko. You can also do this. A homemade pineapple juice, it's kind of medicine. You can't compare the homemade pine pineapple juice with, with those canned juices. You can't compare the two. Because here you are sure of what you are adding. Because there are no, no added sugars, no sweeteners. No preservatives, no all those fun ingredients, just your fresh pineapple, ginger, and your freshly squeezed lemon juice. So let's blend. I'm going to add about maybe two glasses of water. Let me just say. I'll add only one and a half glasses of water because my, my pineapple was not that big. And let's add the juice. Now it's well done, we can strain it. Yeah, you can always be doing this instead of, of buying the canned ones.
just make sure you squeeze all the juice We are squeezing it because we want to make a juice and we don't want these these residues Squeezed all the juice. Oops. I've squeezed all the juice. Now we can add. We can add the lemon. No, sorry, the pineapple peel juice. We can add it. You can add the the lemon juice. And our pineapple juice is ready. Our homemade pineapple juice. juice i think this is enough for my family and it's well done and importance of making your own your own juice not not only the pineapple juice but any other homemade juice one you're sure of there is no added sugars or any sweetener no food no color added to it because we know some some of these juices some color has been added to just to enhance the color so no preservatives no sugars no colors you are sure of your of your juice and also this juice can only last for not more than 24 hours once it after that you can realize you can notice it will start fermenting so i wonder how the the so-called juices in our market in our supermarket they have been written no added preservatives yet you can stay with them for more than one month even after opening them you can stay with them even for a month without them going bad and yet they have no preservative so it's always good to make your own homemade juice and this is our pineapple juice as our pineapple juice you can prepare it at home and tag me on your insta stories at lucy chege m and let me get to know what you think about it on the comment section give this video a like you can share comment and most importantly turn on that notification bell and also subscribe to this channel for more nutrition tips nutrition education and nutrition counseling thank you for watching